Hello everyone and welcome to an exclusive look at Monster Hunter Stories 2 gameplay. I'm Sox, your EMEA Monster Hunter Community Manager. And I'm Yuri, your Monster Hunter Community Manager for North America. In this video we're going to be taking a deeper look at the co-op expedition quests. Exactly! It's one of the features we're really interested in showcasing, as it adds some interesting new mechanics into the mix. Yeah, co-op multiplayer is a key part of Monster Hunter, so we're really happy to be adding it to Monster Hunter Stories 2. Today, we're going to take on the special Palamute Den quest to try and earn the trusty companion from Monster Hunter Rise, the Palamute. Let's do this. Besides the obvious special reward with this quest, one of the key differences between co-op expedition quests and your average Monster Den exploration is that uh, you can actually walk away with multiple eggs per quest. So this is actually a great way to expand your selection of monsties and genes to further customize your party. Yeah, and once the quest starts, you can see the target objective in the top right. In this case, a Tigrex. But you don't have to go and fight him straight away. You can battle other monsters to collect more materials and rewards. So how are we going to tackle this Tigrex hunt? I see here we have uh, Ryozo with the greatsword as a weapon and Toby Kadachi as a monstie. And Leia, Leia's got a sword of shield as a weapon and uh, Monoblos as a monstie. Yeah, Monoblos is uh, an old monster that's coming back to Stories 2. It was originally introduced in uh, the first Monster Hunter game, and personally, I'm pretty glad to see that it's back. The first monster we encounter here is a Puke Puke, but since it's not particularly fast, we can easily avoid combat this time. Let's get on with our battle against this Plesioth here. Leia, on the other hand, isn't quite ready for battle. It looks like they've spotted some treasure nearby. Hmm. I wonder if they're just afraid of hip checks. Lucky for Ryozo, uh, Leia is able to join a battle in progress. You can see a red ring around that smoke cloud, and that signifies the battle is in progress. Just move into the circle and jump in to provide support for your co-op partner. Attacks are broken down to three types, power, speed, and technical. Power beats technical, technical beats speed, and speed beats power. Yeah, it's just like rock, paper, scissors. Monsters will be prone to using moves of a certain type, so if you pay attention, you'll eventually be able to predict your foe's attacks as well as synergize with your party for double attacks. Attacking is not the only thing you can do though. Uh, you can use items to heal or buff your party, like this handy life powder. Everyone's back to full HP! Nice! Sometimes in battles, you have to perform special inputs to come out on top. In this case, your monster is engaged in a power flash. Just mash the A button as fast as you can to win this encounter. Personally, I like these because they're a nice way of breaking up the rhythm of combat. Of course, you can ride your monster in combat too. Uh, together, you can pull off some really strong and flashy attacks. Both riders are now riding their monsters and going for a super strong double kinship skill. This attack is so anime, I love it. This is the true power of kinship. You said it, Nagaru. And that's it. Plesioth is down. After successful battles, you'll be rewarded with materials to help you craft new weapons and armor. The more proficient you are, the better your rank will be, and in turn, the more materials you'll receive. Yeah, so it's really in your best interest to learn Monster Tales and become an Adept Rider. Alrighty, with that Plesioth out of the way, we can start collecting some eggs from this nest. 
Yo, nice engine at Rielzo. Once you've found the nest, you can hunt for monster eggs. These will vary in pattern, weight, and even in smell. Dude, why are you smelling the eggs? <laughs> I'm not smelling the eggs, never is. Don't make this weird. Anyways, the really special eggs will glow. So keep an eye out for those. The egg's pattern will also give away what monster is inside. I get the feeling this egg has the monster you were after. Oh, there's a teenager here. Monsters will often return back to their nest to catch riders attempting to steal eggs from their dens. And this one's going after Leia. At this point, Bilzo can make a break for it with the egg, or join in the fight. <laughs> it looks like Leia's gonna have to fight Soda for now, but we're here to show co op, right? So let's skip to the boss battle. And there it is, the Roaring Wyvern, Tigrex. Bilzo and Leia are gonna try to start this one at the same time to make the most out of potential double attacks. Ooh, watch out, Tigrex is now enraged. Now, if I were to take a guess, I'd say this monster's probably gonna do some heavy hitting power type attacks. Our team knows this, so they'll be swapping out their monsters for some that prefer speed type moves. Picking the right weapon is also super important in Monster Hunter stories too. Weapons are broken down to three types, slash, piercing, and blunt. With monster parts being weaker to specific weapon types, it's important to take that into consideration when planning what to bring to the brawl. And there we go, two back-to-back -back speed type double attacks. Boom, just like that. Both our riders have filled up their kinship gauges and are ready to mount their monsties. It looks like they're probably gonna go for another massive double kinship skill. Mate, over 2,000 damage is huge! I don't know about you, Yuri, but I think our characters were a little too strong for this. Maybe we made this quest look a little too easy? Well, what can I say? They're just that good. Now we get to collect a few more eggs and head back home to hatch them. Co-op quests in Monster Hunter Stories 2 can be played via local or online multiplayer, or you can take an NPC with you. You also need to progress a bit into the game's main story and gather specific tickets to access this mode. We'll cover those details at a later date. Quest complete! Bum, ba, da, bum. Wait, hold up. Palamutes are born from eggs? Yep. Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin launches on Nintendo Switch and PC via Steam on July 9th. And on Nintendo Switch, you can start your journey a little earlier with the trial version demo. You can play through the first chapter and even transfer your progress into the full game. That's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.